What is up, guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox. We do that small tech, and today I am back with another Big Unboxing for you for the iPhone 16 Pro. And today we're back with the official silicone case in black. So we're going to do this one black on black to see if it's a hit or a miss for your brand new 16 Pro. Presentation looks usual. We got the usual Apple presentation here. They haven't really changed it up in a few years. It's going to run you 49 bucks. You can see what you're going to get. That black silicone case nothing really else to it you got a little tab up top so let's get to it to see if it's there to miss for your brand new 16 pro so far i'm liking the pro let's go and check it out not a lot of changes compared to last year i think the biggest upgrades were from the 16 uh series from the 15 but the pro models are very similar you can see here that black looks pretty dark it's pretty deep black um you can tell sometimes in previous generations they went more of a bluey tint how does that look on camera to you guys? Is that more of a black tint, darker black? I think it looks like a true black compared to some of the other generations in previous years. You can see the black logo right there. You can see the camera cut out with the extra protection with the dark kind of black plastic around it to give you the extra reinforcement, how it's going to look right there. Very nicely done. Now the interior, this is when you're going to get that premium feel too. You got this like velvet felt like finish that's really premium. I love the way that feels. And the, one of the nice benefits, it goes all around the edges of the actual case itself. So you're getting full edge to edge protection and it feels like it's going to be all the way protected from top to bottom, not just the actual interior. So you're getting a full protection there. The iPhone logo right there. You got the MagSafe overall nicely done. And now the question is on previous generations, one on the silicone cases, at least for me, would you start going a little bit darker in color? You start getting more and more fingerprints and start showing more and more like grease and stuff like that. But keep in mind, it is what it is. If you just kind of got to know that going into it, they've done a little bit better job in the past couple of generations. I've noticed where it's kind of a little bit more, uh, it doesn't hold as much fingerprints as some of the other previous models. But this one looks very good, soft to the touch. The black on black should look good together. I'm going to take out that iPhone 16 Pro and wipe it down. Wipe it. There we go. Let's get that big wipe it down. Wipe it down. Wipe it down. Shine it up real nice. Slap it into place like that. Nice tight fit. There you go. That black on black. That looks clean right there. To me, I love just plain colors. I like black. I like the white. To me, those go with every case color. Those go with everything. So I like the way that looks a lot. You can see that look clean, the black finish around the camera area. And then you can see the camera hump. That's how much protection you're going to get. Very good camera protection for this type of case. Got a nice feel to it. One thing I've noticed in previous generations, what happens is the silicone case might be a little bit slippery up front, but then it starts getting a little bit more wear, and it actually holds a little bit more form, like a little more form factor after that. So you're pulling in and out of your pocket, adds a little more grip and time, which is a nice added little bonus. Let's go and check out the lip because everybody likes a fat zip. Lip protection looks good too. You can see I like the fat lip around the actual uh, screen itself. Nicely done. Not crazy, but good enough. Volume up and down, clicky and responsive. New button, clicky. How it does look precise and clean. New button right there. I love the way it feels, nice and clicky. And then the power button is clicky. Overall, I'm going to call this one a hit. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I like this one a lot. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.